This morning, I'd like to invite all of you who are listening to think about the children of Palestine, to think about what it's like to grow up under occupation, that on a daily basis, one is, is in, in an environment where one going to church, going to school, going to churches, yes, or mosques, walks by walls and military checkpoints and armed, armed soldiers with guns. And what the psychological impact of that is, is on the children and the generations growing up. One of the most disturbing um, meetings we had, emotionally disturbing and, and challenging meetings with a group called Defense of Children International in uh, Ramallah. And it was echoed by information we received from Beth Salem, a uh, human rights organization in Israel. And this concerned the detention of Palestinian children, children of the age of, of 12 to 18, who are not tried in civilian courts, but are tried in military courts. Some 500 to 700 are convicted a year, and there's a 99% conviction rate. 70% 70, 70 of these children are convicted for the act of, of throwing stones, often at a soldier who they're frustrated about. Many are taken 50 to 60% from their homes in the middle of the night, blindfolded, handcuffed, sleep deprived, and transported in military vehicles. They're interrogated without family members present and often without a lawyer present, although that is their right. Sentences can be from three to 12 months in prison and UNICEF regards this military tension as something that remains widespread, systematic and pervasive. There are 25 documented cases last year of children put into solitary confinement for on average of 16 days. My personal background has been dealing with survivors of residential schools. For five years, I worked for the Truth and Reconciliation Commission of Canada, which was the first commission in the world to focus on the childhood experiences, the childhood trauma of children. So I'm acutely aware of the intergenerational impacts on children and on their families of, of experiences of trauma. It's a story very familiar to, to people in Israel as well. And so that's something that, that moves us deeply and deserves, uh, deserves attention. One of the things we recommended to the Canadian government as a, as a delegation was to urge the government to closely monitor and report on the treatment of Palestinian children arrested by Israeli forces and prosecuted in the military court system. And I hope uh, this morning you will, you will think about what it's like and, and consider, consider how we might support them.